everybody, Jeff the Nature Guy, and I'm in an exhibit that makes me a little sad because just recently, you may have heard we lost our Sika deer. Uh, his name was Rocket, really cool deer from Asia, and unfortunately he was really old, had some really bad problems with his body, and so unfortunately he had to be put down, and certainly a sad moment for all of us at the zoo that really, really enjoyed that and loved that animal. But I want to talk about what happens next, because I get a lot of questions about that. After an animal passes away, what happens, and how do you talk about what goes into the exhibit next. So first and foremost, Rocket himself, his ashes will be given to us and we're going to probably spread them in different areas of the zoo, including right over here. You can take a look at this big giant tree over here. This was Rocket's favorite tree. He spent almost every day under that tree. He would uh, cuddle kind of around that tree, lay around that tree. He'd use it for his antlers. And so most likely, that's where we'll spread most of his ashes at. But now comes the part, what's going to happen to this exhibit? And this exhibit, many of you have seen it. You may not have seen Rocket because he liked, he liked to hide a lot. But this exhibit's a cool place because it's got these really cool cliffs up here. It's very wild. It's got this tree. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean it up and we're going to kind of move some other excess fences that are in here that really don't need to be here. We had him here for Rocket because he was a little shy of people. But we're going to open it up. So so the exhibit goes all the way to where you guys are standing. So the next thing is, what kind of animal is going to come in here? So that's where all of us at the zoo that work here and the keepers get together and talk. So we got to look at a couple things. We got to look at the habitat. What animal can utilize cliffs? What animal likes the trees? What animal is not going to be afraid to go maybe up close to where you guys are standing? We got to think about the climate, the weather. What animal can tolerate Montana weather? And that's an important thing. And then next, we got to talk about, okay, what do you guys want to see? We get a lot of uh, feedback here at the zoo of what people want to see. And sometimes it's maybe it's a native animal, maybe it's an exotic animal. And one thing to remember is that we're standing in the Asia area right now, where the red pandas are, the Siberian tigers. And so we got to think about, okay, what animals are found over in Asia, maybe in the mountains over there, that would look really cool with this habitat here. So there's a lot that goes into it. So what are we thinking about? Well. I don't know. We're still thinking right now. So you've got to stay tuned to see what's going to come in here. And I guarantee you, we'll be doing a video right here on Jeff the Nature Guy when it's time to debut what animal comes in here. So in the meantime, we're going to be sad about Rocket, but we're going to get excited about what's coming here next and what kind of cool animal we can, of course, bring here and, well, call home here at Zoo Montana. So until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy. Hope to see you real soon here at Zoo Montana.